A Machakos High Court has today received submissions concerning a petition challenging the legality of the anti-FGM law in Kenya. Now, the petition filed by medical practitioner Dr. Tatu Kamau wants the anti-FGM board disbanded, claiming that it was illegally constituted. She, however, advocated for the medicalization of the act to allow females, just as their male counterparts, to undergo the cut under the supervision of a medical practitioner. Let's take a look at what happened in court before we speak to our reporter, Timothy Otieno, who was at the Machakos court. Practice our culture. Once the act is removed, we'll be able to do it in the best possible way, which is uh, one of the ways being medicalization. Yes. Uh, in the courtroom, uh, the issue of the girl child has mm. come up a lot. Mm. Yes. And you have been vehemently saying you're not doing this for the girls, but for mm. the women who can consent to this. Yes. But FGM tag has always been to young girls, and mm. even statistics from the government, even last year, mm. shows that girls between age 12 and 18 are the majority who undergo yes. this particular yes. practice. How is this petition helping them in any way? Um, the girl child are not, as I keep on saying, I'm not interested in the girl child. The girl child, a girl has to be protected in their decision making and should not be forced to do things which maybe they are not prepared for. So, so for the girl child, this, uh, the Children's Act can continue to protect the girl child so that the child is not put under undue pressure to change or do things that uh, they, they wouldn't want to, to do or that might be done in a harmful way and the child has got no way of, um, you know, having any recourse to help. Much as it is done in the girl child, there are many women who have been jailed last in the last three years, I have noticed. Through the media, print and electronic, many women are making the decision later on in life and they are being harassed and jailed. Once you reach adulthood, there should be no reason why you you can't make the decision now. If women can decide to drink, to smoke, women can join the army, women can do all sorts of things which might bring them harm or injury, and yet they're allowed to make that decision. I think even for this decision of uh, female circumcision, a woman can make that decision, yes. And once I've made that decision as a woman, I should be able to access the best medical care that I I can get to have it done. Two last mm. questions. You do mm. mention that you have people who are actually supporting your mm. petition and yes. want to be enjoying the case. Maybe okay. mind mentioning who they are in different No, 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 I will not. I will not mention right now. All yeah. right, finally yeah. from me, what do you envision? Mm. Uh, suppose uh, mm. the court rules in your favor. Mm. What do you envision? What do you want to see put in place in regards to the fight or the legalization of the uh, I want it uh, to continue. Uh, I want uh, people to continue just like you do have this continuation of discouraging people from smoking or excessive drinking. That should continue. But those who want to have it done, especially if they're adults, should have the freedom to, to have it done. Yes. Well, that is Dr. Tatu Kamau in a conversation earlier on with our reporter, Timothy Otienun. What are some of her reasons for wanting... Uh, FGM to be legalized in the country and for the anti-FGM board to be disbanded, saying that it was uh, wrongfully or illegally constituted. Well, in studio now is uh, my colleague Timothy Oteno, who's just from the Machakos court, for more details on how this case that has attracted a lot of public interest went on. Thank you very much for coming in. I mean, what did the court decide after the hearing today? So, first of all, today was the mention mm -hmm. of the particular case and the court has given uh, the petitioners because it's a highly publicized case as you can imagine and a lot is at stake so there were some new interested parties organizations and individuals that wanted to be enjoined into the case uh, as interested parties number yeah. three four and five so uh, the magistrate uh, David Kemei did actually give um, the judge uh, a bit more time to allow for the interested parties to actually uh, submit their 
their yeah. proposals towards mm -hmm. the court. So the court resumes on February mm -hmm. the 26th. Mm -hmm. The interested parties are supposed to uh, give out their submissions and the petitioner, who is Dr. Uh, Kamau, mm -hmm. is supposed to respond to those uh, particular submissions before they reassemble once again on mm -hmm. the 26th of February. Now, on the 26th, the judge will then decide whether the petition warrants a hearing in court or he will either may decide to throw yeah. it out yeah. depending on the way the pros and cons issued by the petitioner in each of the particular case. So, mm -hmm. at this particular juncture, it's just submissions. Mm -hmm. AMREF. Kenya is one of the institutions that wanted to be enjoined in the case, in case yeah. as an interested party. Mm -hmm. We have Equality Now, mm -hmm. Samburu Girls mm -hmm. Foundation, Women Empowerment Group, as well as the Kenya Women's uh, uh, Kenya Parliamentary Women's Association. Mm -hmm. That actually, interestingly, came up. Uh, with the prohibition of Female Genital Mutilation yeah, Act uh -huh. in 2011. Mm. So it's we, we're all waiting for the 26th mm. to find out whether this will go to trial mm. or not. And then we'll also be finding out on who will be enjoined in this particular case, given the number of um, organizations or groups uh, that have uh, made an application to be enjoined in this particular case. Well, the judge, uh, according to his comments, he yeah. had actually agreed mm -hmm. to all of the parties, mm -hmm. but he did uh, give uh, actually a statement that even made people laugh in the mm -hmm. courtroom he said mm -hmm. we're not going to give one year for people to who are interested in this particular case mm -hmm. to join it has to go either to trial or be dismissed yes, so yes. that we can do away with it and get other cases on mm -hmm. board mm -hmm. so as it is all of the mentioned uh, institutions that have mentioned to you mm -hmm. have been allowed mm -hmm. to be interested parties and right now they're just filing their submissions mm -hmm. that they will present uh, to the good doctor upon mm -hmm. which she will reply before they meet on the 26th mm -hmm. to give their submissions before the court so that the judge can decide whether to take it on trial or not. So for now, it's just a matter of wait and see. It's a matter of wait and see. All right, Timothy, thank you for coming in uh, to just uh, help us understand what really happened in court. He was at the Machakos court earlier on in the day. And of course, this is a conversation I will be having later on on the program um, uh, with uh, my guests as we just take a look at some of the reasons that are being given by Dr. Tatu Kamau and what really, in essence, will this mean for various communities in the country where FGM is rampant.